In the last video, I explained how we can deliver a lead magnet inside JetFuel. So in this video, I will explain how we can use those captured email addresses and automatically send emails to them. We will create a connection between JetFuel and ActiveCampaign using Zapier. Let's dive in. So if you are in your JetFuel dashboard, we will quickly go to the flow that we're using to ask for the email. So if we head over to flows, then you can see our secret dessert recipe. And so we ask for the email of the user and when they give their email, we will send a message with, hey, here's your dessert recipe. And what we want to do now is when someone gives their email to our chatbot, we will automatically send them an email. And we're going to do that by making a connection with ChefFuel and ActiveCampaign using Zapier. So if we go to zapier.com, uh, you can just click on login or in sign up if you haven't uh, have an account yet. I already have an account. So we will just click on login. Then I will type in my email, click on continue and type in my password, which is automatically done for me. And then we're in the Zapier dashboard. And then we can click on make a zap And then we can search for our app, which is Chef Fuel. And this is where we are going to make a Zap. And a Zap is nothing more than just a connection between two software applications. So in this case, it's a connection between Chef Fuel and Active Campaign. So if we click on Chef Fuel, then we can uh, choose the trigger event. So what triggers the Zap? What makes it happen? So it happens when a subscriber attribute, the email attribute, is updated. So we will click on that and we'll click on continue. Then we will choose the account. So we need to sign into ChatFuel. If we sign into ChatFuel, we can choose our chatbot, which will be the blank bot. And then we'll click on continue. Then we can choose the subscriber attribute. So what triggers the, which attribute triggers this app, which will be the email and what kind of attributes do we want to send to active campaign which will also be the email but you could also add more attributes like the first name last name you name it so we can click on continue and then we can run a test so we can click on test trigger and then zapier will look for a subscriber attribute it can find any so if we go to messenger and go to our bot and we will click on dessert recipe Then I will leave my email and then when we click on test trigger it has found some information so then we can click on continue and then we go with active campaign which will be the next software application we can choose an action event so we will add the contact to an automation I already made an automation in active campaign that just sends out one email to an email address we can choose the accounts so we need to sign into active campaign and here's where we get the api url and the api key and that's what we need from active campaign so if you go to your to your active campaign page we'll go to settings and then we need to go to developer which is here under settings and here you will find the url and the key you don't want to share your URL or your key with anyone else. This is just strictly for you. And when you provide access with your URL, if someone has your key, they can make changes to your active campaign account and you don't want that. So just leave this to yourself and add it here as the API URL and the key. So we fill that in and then we can click on yes, continue. And if we go back, then we click on continue. Then we can choose which automation the, the users automatically subscribe to. So that will be the secret dessert recipe automation. The subscriber email, we can select that, which will be the email from Chef Fuel. And the contact type will be email. Just leave it as email, this like the standard, it is the default, and that's what you need to use. Then we can click on continue. And then we can click on test and continue. And it worked. So a test automation was sent to Active Campaign just now. And when it worked, we can just turn the zap on. You can turn it on right here. 
or you can turn it on in the upper right corner. So if we go to our chatbot and we click again on dessert recipe. Oh, so you want a secret dessert recipe, fill in your email, we click on the email, and then we can click on the button here, which will go to the which will go to the secret dessert recipe. But also, if I go to my email, hey, click on the link below to get your secret dessert recipe. So that's working. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.